Hello everyone, today we're doing a shootout of products from the company that started the whole Flyrig concept. Now the Flyrig 5 was the first product from Tech21 that embraced the whole convenient uh, pedalboard format, fully analog multi-effects built-in distortion, boost, delay, preamp, reverb. Now the whole idea is that these fly rigs make things very convenient for guitarists. It's really small, very easy to dial in, it's analog, there's no menus to go through. You can have the option of running it through an amp or going direct to the PA or mixer thanks to the Sans amp. There is also a built-in drift control on the delay which is basically adding a modulation to the repeats and also there is a tap tempo button. There is also a built-in cab simulator on the unit so if you go direct to your PA there is no worries of your tone being destroyed. And ever since the introduction of the Flyrig 5 there are three other versions which has been released since. And the next model is a signature model and this guy is the one who probably started the whole idea, contributed the idea to Tech21 to build something like this. It is the Richie Kotzen RK5 Flyrig. Following that, they released two other new models, which is the Brit and the Cali. Now, among all these four units, the Delay, the Sansem, and the Boost are all the same. And what differs between them is the drive section of each of these pedals. Now, unfortunately, for today's shootout, I do not have the original Flyrig 5. But for what it's worth, the Brit version of the Flyrig seems to me like a souped up version of the original Flyrig 5. Now the differences between all these units is mainly the drive section. So in the original Flyrig 5, you had a plexi style drive in it. Following that, the RK5 has the OMG section, which is basically Richie Kotzen's signature distortion pedal from Tech21. The Brit literally means that it's based off that famous Marshall type tone. And finally, the Kelly is a very American Mesa kind of tone. So the point of today's shootout is to give you a sound comparison of all of these units to help you choose which one is for you. Now the delay and the boost are completely the same, but I'm going to be testing not just the drive section of each of these flatics, but also the Sans Amp section. While the description of each product says that it is the exact same preamp in the Sans Amp, there are some forum discussions which say that they do differ slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare both the Sans Amp and the drive section. And for today's shootout, I'm using an Ibanez RGAIX6U with bare knuckle after and I'm plugging into each of these fly rigs which are then going into the effects return of my PV6505MH. So I'm going directly into the power M which is going into an orange PPC212 cabinet.
Listening to the comparison of the Sanzam section, they seem to differ very very slightly from each other. My ears may be fooling me but what I'm hearing is I can hear that the RK5 Sanzam seems to be the brightest among these three units here. The Brit is in between and the Kelly seems to have the darker sounding tone on the Sanzam. Following that, all the drive sections have of course a very different tone to each of them. The Brit is your typical martial arts kind of tone, it is the lowest gain out of all the three. The Kelly has a much more American sound to it, seems to have a bit more, much more bottom end to my ears. And finally, the RK5 seems to have the most gain out of all of these three units. And to my ears, the RK5 has a hump in the low mid section and is a bit more bite to the tone. So there you go, that is the comparison between all of these three fly rigs from Tech 21, the RK5, the Kelly and the Brit. And hopefully give you an idea of how different this unit sounds and help you find which one suits you the best. Check out musicblitz.com.my for pricing info, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon.